Well, if you keep up with us on Facebook or anything, you know that I've had a I've had a bow season of a lifetime, really. You know, I, I, I probably won't ever match what I've done this year in Georgia. You've already seen the first buck that I killed with my bow, and uh, he was he was a really good one. But I had several more on the hit list, and it just so happened a week and a day later, same stand, one of them walked out right in front of it. Combat in the Wild is brought to you in part by Mossy Creek Game Calls. Spectre Shot, Jeb's Precision Chokes, HuntExchange.com, H&H Timber, and these other fine sponsors.
Well, you know, he comes out and he's, you know, 80, 90 yards away. I'm getting a little bit nervous because he's he, he's kind of easing my way. But all of a sudden, I look to my right, a doe comes out. You know, it's mid-October. These, these big bucks are checking these does. So he runs that old neck out and he comes straight over there to her. Holy freaking crap, man. Un freaking believable. You hear me? Oh my god. The field's clear and same stand. A week and a day ago, I killed another big buck. Out of and I got one down right here, baby. No tracking needed. Bipolar through that shoulder. Good. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. I've been to go get the truck. And I mean, there's no tracking job on this one. This is. I can't even hold the camera straight. This is un freaking believable, as Joey says on the on the turkeyologist DVDs. But I mean, I can't believe it. I mean, two of the hit list bucks during bow season. I mean, what can I say? I'm headed to North Dakota, baby. Let's look at it. What do y'all think about that? Got a crazy little inside point there. Crazy mass and dead right there. He bipolar broadheads. That's all I can say about that. Well, if you've never seen a bipolar broadhead in action, that was it. You know, to the front of the shoulder, quartering to me a little bit, dropped right there, blood gushing out. That's some damage right there. Now, if you want to know more information about these broadheads, look them up on Facebook, Bipolar Broadheads. Heck, look up Tim Knight. He's the founder of it. And uh, they've also got a website where you can order uh, all the broadheads and stuff. But hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Uh, go to our Facebook page. Give us a like, Combat in the Wild and the Turkeyologist. Of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, check out our website, CombatInTheWild.com. Go to the store. You can get all our merchandise and everything right there. Combat in the Wild has been brought to you by these fine sponsors. 